Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about uh, the room being kind of your orchestra. I want you to realize that you have command and you can take command of your room. And we need to deal with the six boundary surfaces of the room, floor, ceiling, and the four walls. Each contributes a percentage to the sound quality and the usage that we're trying to uh, adjust for. So floor to ceiling is always the biggest one because it's the smallest dimension. So it's always a low frequency problem. Of the three dimensions in acoustics, we try to get two of the three favorable. And most ceilings, at least in North America that we deal with, are eight foot, which nothing could be worse in terms of low frequency pressure. Trying to fit 40 cycle energy, 30 cycle energy in eight foot of space is a real challenge. So the only way to do that is to have the right horsepower in the treatment and cover enough surface area. So the floor to the ceiling always usually is the smallest uh, of the three dimensions. So you have to uh, account for that. Sidewalls, big reflection producing devices. So they're constantly orchestrating reflections back at the listening and monitoring position. But we have control. We're the conductor. We have the control of the treatment. We have the control of the size of the room that we build. We have the control of the volume of the room and we have control of what usage we're using in the room. So we also then can use treatment type and amount and position to generate the sound quality that we want. There's great diffusion tools. We have wonderful low frequency absorption tools. We have really good middle and high frequency absorption tools. So the, the real test, the real uh, symphony, if you will, the real conduct, conduction of all of this thing is to balance all of this out and match it to what we're trying to do. So treatment type, amount, and position, that acronym we've designed called TAP, and that's something that you, you really uh, need to be aware of. But don't feel helpless. You have the control. We do have the tools finally today. So you can conduct or be a painter, if you will, of what you're trying to do in the room. Don't let the room scare you. Um, if you're trying to, you know, record drums in a closet, you probably have a reason to be scared. But, you know, all of these variables can be controlled. I know there's a lot of them, but that's okay. We have the tools to manage them. It's just like a mechanic tearing apart an engine. I can't even believe how many parts that must have. But they do it. You know, they do it. They do it systematically, step by step, and with a lot of experience and knowledge. Well, we have those same kind of tools. So you must match the usage of the treatment. Uh, to by to get the final sound quality that you want and the treatment that we have today you can actually have a huge impact on the response curve so we do have the tools you can conduct the room in the way that you need to do for your usage thank you thank you for watching this video and if you liked it please give us a thumbs up we also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter and then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.